Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Goodreads Book Crew. It's your girl, Queen Diva. Yes, it has been a long, long, long overdue time. Since I have graced you all with my presence, <laughs> it's been a long time. I think the last time I actually did a video, oh, excuse me, the last time I actually did a video was back in September before I went on vacation in October. Well, I went, I had fun, I dropped some videos for October when I was in uh, Mexico, and um, the book that month I really didn't like. And maybe I did do a video after that. I can't remember, but we did not discuss that book. And then we had a break because I had uh, started training, uh, well, assistant training, a new hire training class. So I've been busy, 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 busy. And guess what? The training class is still going. It started at the end of November. It's still going now. This will be the last month. And then once the class ends, I'm out of the country again. But that's neither here nor there. But I wanted to come back. Oh, yeah, we had a book, Colleen Hoover. I think it was called Confess. That was a really good book, but I did not get a chance to come on here and do any readings. And because there wasn't any communication in the uh, on the channel, so I figured, you know, maybe nobody got the book or whatever. So I was like, okay, I still was busy ripping and running, running and ripping. So now it's March Today is March 5th, I believe, so I am officially back on, so I hope you guys join back again. Forgive me for those who have wanted, wanted to participate, but there was nothing dropping, but we are back at it. On March 1st, I dropped a video saying that this was the book that we're going to read for this month. It's called Never Never by one of our favorite authors, which is Colleen Hoover, and then also Taryn Fisher. We read her book, Taryn Fisher. I think it was An Honest Lie by Taryn Fisher. So, here's the book. If you all haven't got it, be sure to go and get it on Amazon. I did drop the link on the video on March 1st, showing this was the book that we're going to read. So, I think I covered everything. Welcome. And welcome back again. Sorry that it's been busy, but I'm about to get back on it now. You will begin the reading each week for this. And I will do either one or two. It's either going to be a live chat discussion. If y'all join me, <laughs> we're going to do that. It's going to be before the 31st. It's going to be that Saturday before the 31st because I will be jumping on the flight on the 31st. And I'll be heading out of the country and I won't be back until mid-March. I mean, not mid-March, <laughs> mid-April. So, yeah, I'll be heading out on the 31st of April. I'll be back mid-April. 31st of March, be back mid-April. I can't get my dates and my times and stuff together. It is what it is. All right. Without further ado, let's get into it. I don't have my water, but I don't plan on reading that much. I wanted to uh, wait until I was really ready to do a reading session. But I'm getting ready to take my hair down, y'all. Don't judge me. It look like a poodle right now. It's been up a little over a month. But right after I finish reading this book to you all and doing this little video, I am taking this hair down so I can shampoo my hair, let it breathe for a little while before I do my hair for my upcoming trip. So let's get into it. I don't want to sit back all the way because, like I said, this hair been up a while, so it look like a poodle. And I don't want it sticking to my lovely backdrop. All right. Never Never by Colleen Hoover. 
the Terry Fisher. Oh, this is going to be good. I, mean, I hope it's going to be good because um, they both are good authors. I love both of them, but I like reading their books. I don't know anything about them personally. It's my first time opening the book. <laughs> so, Never Never, part one. Charlie. A crash. Book falls to the spectacle aluminum floor. Oh, sorry. Let me start that over. A crash. <laughs> Books fall to the speckled aluminum floor. They skid a few feet, whirling in chairs. I'm sorry, whirling in circles. I cannot read. Let's start over. Probably take that part out. <laughs> All right. A crash. Book falls to the speckled aluminum floor. They skid a few feet, whirling in circles, and stop near feet. My feet. I don't recognize the black sandals or the red toenails, but they move when I tell them to. So they must be mine, right? A bell rings, shrill. I jump, my heart racing. My eyes move left to right as I scope out my environment, trying not to give myself away. What kind of bell was that? Where am I? Kids with backpack walk briskly into the room, talking and laughing, a school bell. They slide into desks, their voices come, I'm sorry, their voices competing in volume, okay. They slide into their desks, their voices competing in volume. I see movement at my feet, and jerk in a surprise. Someone is bent over, gathering up books on the floor. A red-faced girl with glasses. Before she stands up, she looks at me with something like fear and then scares off. People are laughing. When I look around, I think they're laughing at me, but it's the girl with the glasses they're looking at. Charlie, someone calls. Didn't you see that? And then, Charlie, what's your problem? Hello? My heart is beating fast, so fast. Where is this? Why can't I remember? Charlie? Someone hisses. I look around. Who is Charlie? Which one is Charlie? There are so many kids. Blonde hair, ratty hair, brown hair, glasses, no glasses. A man walks in carrying a briefcase. He sets it on the desk. The teacher? I am in a classroom, and that is the teacher. High school or college, I wonder. I stand up suddenly. I'm in the wrong place. Everyone is sitting, but I'm standing, walking. Where are you going, Miss Winwood? The teacher is looking at me over the rim of his glasses as he ripples through a pile of papers. He slaps them down hard on the desk, and I jump. I must be Miss Winwood. What is going on? <laughs> I guess we'll eventually find out, because, like, she don't know where she at. She must be a student in the class, so this is going to be something about a high school student. Kind of like, confess, confess, well, they was younger, too. But that's okay. It's just books. It's just books. It don't have to always be adult books. It can be young adult books or whatever. Okay. Anywho. Let me get back into the book. All right, where I was at. All right. Oh, I said, where are you going, Miss Winwood? The teacher is looking at me over the rim of his glasses as he ripples through his, a pile of papers. He slaps them down hard on the desk, and I jump. I must be Miss Winwood. Okay, I just read that. All right. She has cramped, someone calls out. People snicker. I feel a chill creep up my back and crawl across the top of my arm. They're laughing at me, except I don't know who these people are. I hear a girl's voice say, shut up, Michael. I don't know. I say hearing my voice for the first time. It's too high. I clear my throat and try again. I don't know. 
I'm not supposed to be here. There is more laughing. I glance around at the posters on the wall, the faces of presidents animated with dates beneath them. History class, high school. The man, the teacher, tilts his head to the side like I said, some, said the dumbest thing. <laughs> and where are you supposed to be on this test day? I, I don't know. Sit down, he says. I don't know where I'd go if I left. I turn around and go back. The girl with the glasses glances up at me as I pass her. She looks away almost as quickly. As soon as I'm sitting, the teacher starts handing out papers. He walks between desks. His voice, his voice a flat drone as he tells us what percentage of our final grade the test will be. When a teacher, I'm sorry, when he reaches my desk, he pauses, a deep crease between his eyebrows. I don't know what you're trying to pull. He presses the tip of his fat, pointed finger on my desk. Whatever it is, I'm sick of it. One more stunt, and I'm sending you to the principal's office. He slaps the test down in front of me and moves down the line. I don't nod. I don't do anything. I'm trying to decide what to do. Announce to the whole room that I have no idea who and where I am. Or pull him aside and tell him quickly. He said no more stunts. My eyes move to the paper in front of me. People are already bent over their tests, pencil scratching. Fourth period. <coughs> Fourth period history, Mr. Dulcock. 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 Mr. Dulcock. Um, there is a space for my name. I'm supposed to write my name, but I don't know what my name is. Miss Winwood, he called me. Why don't I recognize my own name or where I am or what I am? Every head is bent over with their papers except mine. So I sit and stare straight ahead. Mr. Dolcock glares at me from his desk. The longer I sit, the redder his face becomes. Time passes and yet my world has stopped. Eventually, Mr. Dolcock stands up. His mouth opens to say something to me. When the bell rings, put your paper, excuse me, excuse me, he stands up to say something to me. Wait, where was I at? Okay, let me start over. Time passes and yet my world has stopped. Eventually, Mr. Dolcock stands up, his mouth, his mouth opens to say something to me when the bell rings. Put your paper on my desk, on the way out, he says, his eyes still on my face. Everyone is fouling out of the door. I stand up and follow them because I don't know what else to do. I keep my eyes on the floor, but I can feel his rage. I don't understand why he's so angry with me. I am in a hallway now, lined on either side by blue lockers. Charlie, someone calls out. Charlie, wait up. Okay, so she Charlie, apparently. <laughs> a second letter. A second, oh, a second later, my apologies, an arm loop around through mine. I expect it to be the girl with the glasses. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it's not. But I know now that I am Charlie, Charlie Winwood. You forgot your bag, she says, handing over a white backpack. I take it from her, wondering if there is a wallet with a driver's license inside. A driver's license in high school? Well, you know. Maybe some people do. <laughs> she keeps her arm looped through mine as we walk. She's shorter than me with long, dark hair and dewy brown eyes that take up her half of her face. She's startling and beautiful. Why are you acting so weird in there? Why were you acting so weird in there, she asked. You knocked the shrimp's book on the floor and then spazzed out, or then spaced out. I can smell her perfume. It's familiar and too sweet, like a million flowers competing for attention. I think of the girl with the glasses, the look on her face as she bent to scoop up her books. If I did that, why don't I remember? I, it's lunch. Why are you walking that way? She pulls me down a different quarter, past more students. They all look at me, little glances. I wonder if they know me and why I don't know me. I don't know why I don't tell her. Tell Mr. Dulcock. 
Wait, let me read the photo. I don't know why. I don't know her. Tell Mr. Dulcock, grab someone random and tell them that I don't know who or where I am. By the time I'm seriously entertaining the idea, we're through a set of double doors in a cafeteria, noise and colors, bodies that all have a unique smell, bright fluor I can't say it. Bright fluorescent lights that make everything look ugly. Oh God, I clutch my shirt. The girl on my arm is babbling. Andrew this, Mercy that, she likes Andrew and hates Marcy. Oh, Andrew this and Marcy that, she likes Andrew and hates Marcy. I don't know who either of them is. She corals me to the food line. We get a salad and Diet Cokes. Then we are sliding our trays on the table. There are already people sitting there, four boys, two girls. I realize we are complete. We are completing a group with even numbers. All the girls are matched with the guy. Everyone looks up at me expectantly, like I'm supposed to say something, do something. The place, the only place left to sit is next to a guy with dark hair. I sit slowly, both hands flat on the table. His eyes dart towards me, and then he bends over his tray of food. I can see the finest bead of sweat on his forehead just below his hairline. You two are so awkward sometimes, says a new girl, blown across from me. She's looking from me to the guy I'm sitting next to. He looks up from his macaroni, and I realize he's just moving things around on his plate. He hasn't taken a bite, despite how busy he looks. He looks at me, and I look at him. Then we both look back at the blown girl. Did something happen that we should know about? She asks. No, we say in unison. All right, so I'm going to stop there. So, hmm. Maybe the girl got amnesia. I don't know what had happened was. But clearly she is Charlie Winwood. Her teacher is Mr. Dulcock. Was that his name? Dulcock? Yeah, Dulcock. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, um, read the book. Put it in the comments what y'all think about the book. We will have a discussion at the end of the month. I will come back. And I will. I didn't bring my bookmark in here, so I don't want to move my finger. What page is 15? So, I will be back. I will be reading parts of the book every week. And then at the end of the month, well, the, la the second week, I mean the... The weekend before the 31st, because the 31st is on a Friday. So the weekend before the 31st, which is, um, I don't know. But, oh, excuse me, that Saturday, I am going to schedule a live. So I want you guys to put in this, or the comment in this video, if you guys are going to be able to attend that live. Again, it is going to be, well, I guess technically the last Saturday of the month, because the 1st of April is on a Saturday, and we're going to do it before that because I'll be definitely out of the country then. So, let me know down below in the comments if you all will be able to join the live on the last Saturday of the month, which is the Saturday before the 31st. If nobody comments, then let me know. Of course, I'm going to still record a regular, like I would do before, I would uh, record like a probably like an hour long of me discussing the book, giving my opinions and this and that and that and what I felt about the book. I'll still pre-record that. Um, if we don't do the live, only because no one said they're going to join, I will wait and I will post not on the 31st because I ain't trying to miss my flight. I don't have too much going on. But on the 30th is when I will post what I thought about the book. So I will not post what I think about the book that Saturday. I'm going to reserve that Saturday for the live. If we do not do the live, I will post my video on the 30th. Again, welcome and welcome back to Goodreads Book Crew. It's your girl, Queen Diva, and we have good vibes only. If you are not subscribed to my uh, you, other YouTube channel, which is Queen Diva's Good Vibes Only, the link is in the description below. Please be sure to go and subscribe. It is a relaxation, motivation, meditation channel. So, go and join. Boo-boo. 
deuces talk to y'all later thank y'all sorry for the delay i'm gonna be back on it this is my last month of this training class so everything else should go back into place okay all right all right all right have a good one y'all thank y'all peace love and hair grease Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be.